everyone, it's Katie. Welcome to Tech and Gear Tuesdays, all things tech and gear for the music lover. So today we're going to be reviewing a capo from D'Addario. Now the design is innovative, but it might hurt your wallet a little bit. So I'm going to show you my initial reaction and then I'm going to come back and then give you my final thoughts. I have in my hand right here, the new cradle capo from D'Addario and it is priced at $70. Now this video is not sponsored. This was not sent to me. This belongs to my friend, Travis. Daddario collaborated with Ned Steinberger. He's known around the world for his innovative instrument designs. He gained popularity when he created guitars and basses created without the traditional headstock. The cradle capo features an adjustable micrometer. What makes it special is the self-centering cradle design that guarantees an even tension across the strings to eliminate buzz, providing consistent intonation. And he has also designed other capos for Daddario. Ah, here's one of them. I love this capo. I love the fact that you can adjust the tension on this capo. And plus, I have some students that have uh, smaller hands, uh, and when I mean by smaller hands, I mean eight-year-olds. And when it's time for them to use their capo, other capos of other designs, it was really difficult for them to use because they just couldn't release the tension enough to be able to clamp the neck of their guitars. This is the perfect solution for them. And it has one latch, just easy, one piece, what you do is that you squeeze both sides like this. And it has little grooves for your fingers. Squeeze, release, attach it to the back, clip it on. Very, very easy. You know, as I'm tightening the screw, I'm just noticing that I don't have to apply a lot of pressure. Good, that looks secure. I'm gonna play some open chords first. Just check the intonation. I just heard angels sing. <laughs> oh my word. That was pretty. That was, it was in tune. I might, Travis, I might be convinced. <laughs> I just might be. This is incredibly minimal. It's incredibly light. Um, I like the fact that uh, the when I adjust the tension, I barely have to touch it. If you see most capos, they're C-clamp capos, uh, spring-loaded capos. Some have adjustable tension, some do not. Like for example, this Kaiser capo does not have an adjustable tension. So the amount of pressure exerted on the strings, is, it's just, you can't adjust it. It clamps on the strings, it's really fast, it's out of the way. Um, but it could pull your strings out of tune. So that's a disadvantage to the Kaiser capo. I actually made a video completely dedicated to capos. So I'm gonna put that in the cards above in the description box below so that you can check that out if you're curious. Yeah, of course you could find a $20 capo. Yeah, you can find a $10 capo, you know, but it really depends upon what you're looking for. Not everybody is going to be able to afford a $70 capo or justify purchasing a $70 capo. But I think that if you are a, you know, this is just my personal opinion. If you're a professional musician and you're relying on your equipment to serve you, you know, at any moment, you want to make sure that you have something that is going to be easy to use and it's going to function the way you want it to function. You know, sometimes it's worth having that peace of mind. If you think, hey, I'm going to have a buy once, buy well situation, maybe this, maybe this capo is for you. Okay, now final thoughts. I think that capo is fantastic. I mean, you look at the price, you think, oh my gosh, that hurts a little bit. But the more and more I played around with it, the more and more I'm like, I, 
I maybe need this in my life. <laughs> you know, especially because for me, I like to buy once, I like to buy well. I don't want to fiddle with it. I want it to work every single time the way it's designed to, and I don't have to worry about it. I mean, yes, a Kaiser Capo, definitely much more gentle on the pocketbook and it's very durable. My first Kaiser Capo actually broke after 11 years. That you know, they're, These are workhorses, but the amount of pressure exerted on your strings is, I think the greatest amount of pressure is gonna be right here, right where the spring is. And I feel like I have to do the capo dance where I'm just like, you know, move it this way and this way. And then I have to release the tension and then apply the tension again because maybe it's pulling a string out of tune or whatnot. Sometimes I just don't have time to do that. I want something to work right away. But you know, you have to decide whether that capo is right for you. So leave your comment in the comment section below. I want to know if you think that this is a purchase or a pass for you. Tell us why. If you have this capo, what do you love about it? And what actually made you think like, yes, this is worth $70 for you. It's always great to hear from the actual consumer. So thank you for joining me for this episode of Tech and Gear Tuesdays, and I will see you next time. Bye.